You know, John Havlicek uh, has always been a great, great player, and he's a clutch player. You know, just finding a guy that's willing to take the last shot uh, is an accomplishment, and Havlicek always was willing to do that. Haney controls. Boston is slow. White started to go with the shot, didn't. Danbridge got involved. That basket counts. John Havlicek coming from the weak side, got freed by the pick, beat Bob Dandridge across, got the ball, and drew the foul. Dandridge is still talking to Mindy, and he's got to be careful. Havlicek with a chance to convert here on a three-point play. That is five fouls on Dandridge. It's 92 all. I wish we had a different angle to look at that one because it didn't look like he touched him. Boston leads again, 93-92. Davis with the ball. Against White. He's going to get it across. Boston by one, 93-92. And Davis would like to get it inside, or somebody would. They do. Cowan stands and watches Kareem put another one in. He is 32 points. He's been spectacular. And sure. Milwaukee goes in front. There's got to be some tired bodies out there in this floor, on that floor tonight. Have a check. Hits again. 32 for Havlicek. 32 points for Havlicek. He's playing another super game, another big clutch shot. The Bucks working into Oscar Robertson, and he's got JoJo White, and he hits. Oscar is superb. 16 for the big O. 225 left in double overtime. You just can't ask for a better basketball game than this. Tyler, who hasn't played well. Here goes Havlicek, blocked by Kareem. He stepped on the line. Kareem made great play that time. When he came down, his foot was on the line. Celtics get another opportunity. Nothing more you can ask of that man. Havlicek will throw it in bounds. To White. His jump shot is good. Boston by one. 205 left in double overtime. Davis is headed for a trap, but the Bucks get it up. The lead has changed hands 11 times. Perry looking for somebody. He almost walked. Seven seconds, six now, five on the 24 second clock. Back to Oscar. He's got to put it up. He does. And he got it. Oh, what a shot by Oscar Robinson. He had nothing to do but throw it up. Dendridge. Almost stole it from Havlicek, but he gets another basket. 99-98, Boston. A minute and a half left. And double overtime. Inside it goes Kareem. Collins behind him. That's it for Dave Collins. Dave Collins is out of the game. Collins is out. Collins is out. comes in. Standing ovation for Cowan. There's the play again. Oscar cuts off. Watch him lean in here. A little, little contact right there. There he is with the arm. Pressure packed situation. Mickey Davis gets it inbounds to Danger. And Bobby gets back to Davis. 17 seconds left on the 24 second clock. Saved by Oscar Robinson, but the Bucks throw it away. No, the ball was Touched tipped by Boston. Yes, Touched by Boston. Touched by Boston. Jojo White is just smiling and saying, you caught me. Yeah, he knows he hit the ball. Bucks almost threw it away again. Almost really hurt themselves. 11 seconds to go on that 24-second clock. Mandy Rudolph is saying, don't look at me like that. 11 seconds left on that 24 second clock, now less than 10. Davis played by JoJo White. Boston by one. Coming down to a minute and five, back behind the pass. No shot! No shot! No shot, they let it run out. Pat, I cannot understand why they did not just throw the ball right down into Kareem who had Hank Finkel playing behind him. They just wasted a lot of time, did absolutely nothing with the ball, have nobody to blame but themselves for turning it over. Boston now with a chance 
to increase their one-point lead. Finkel, Havlicek tries to get back to Henry, but now he waits for the pick, and he doesn't get it. Great defense by Oscar. John Havlicek dribbled it off of his foot. The Bucks control. Now 44 seconds left in the game. Wait a minute. Bring it back, says Mindy. He's got things in command. Oscar wants somebody else to throw it in so he can get involved in getting the, the ball across court. He was the closest man to the ball when it went out of bounds. He must take it in. He throws in to Dandridge. Dandridge played by Havlicek. He's trying to get it across. They almost threw it away. Oscar does get it across, but just there. 99-98 Boston. 31 seconds. 30 now left on the game clock. Less than 30. Dandridge throws inside to Davis. His jump shot is good. What a shot by Mickey Davis. All kinds of pressure. He had nothing but net. 20 seconds now left in the game. Forget the 24-second clock. 16 seconds. I don't Tom, think we'll have any more overtime. Tom Heinsohn wants a timeout. Nobody's calling it. Havlicek's shot is good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Seven seconds left in the game. The Boston captain is the game's high scorer with 36 points. 101 to 100. What a basketball game we've had. Oscar Robertson throws to Kareem. Seven seconds. Finkel, the sky yeah. over. Kareem with a big pressure shot. Nothing but net again. I can't believe the way these players are performing out here, Pat. Just absolutely fantastic. The Celtics will still have the last shot of the basketball game. Here's the pass into Kareem. He looks to get it to Davis. He's not open. Takes it himself. Cheney moves over. Almost gets to the ball. Kareem picks it up. There we go. Three seconds left in this second overtime period. JoJo White will throw it in this time. Goes to Westfall, to White. His long jump shot is no good. Milwaukee wins it. Milwaukee wins it in double overtime. Double overtime. Milwaukee wins it 102 to 101. After that dramatic win, the Bucks seemed to have all the momentum. But the Celtics came back to win Game 7 and the title in Milwaukee. And John Havlicek was named MVP of the Finals. Two years later, Boston beat Phoenix to win another championship. In that series, they won maybe the greatest game ever, a triple overtime thriller. And it was Havlicek who forced the third overtime with a miraculous shot. Honda was always on the court for the finish, but he wasn't always a starter. And we'll look at his legacy as the quintessential sixth man in just a moment.